Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So a lot of us have rubber floor mats in our vehicles. They're also known as all weather mats. So if I look at this one here from my girlfriend's vehicle, uh, this one looks faded, chalky, grimy. And today I'm going to show you the simple method to clean and rejuvenate your floor mats so they look like new. And uh, well, yeah, you're going to go from something that looks like this, that's not very pleasant to the eye, to something that is fully cleaned and restored. So this one here is from the past side so look at that it looks like new and most importantly for safety it's a non slippery surface so we're going to use some very simple uh, tools and products to do the job and of course quick disclaimer uh, this is not a sponsored video nobody paid for this video I ordered these products myself and also I'll leave links to all the tools products and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the show so again I like simplicity and of course time is money for everybody out there we all have busy lives and this procedure only takes a few minutes it's very easy so we're going to dive into the demo very quickly uh, but before that I'm just going to go over the products and tools that you're going to need so first order of business we're going to need an all-purpose cleaner in this case I'm going to be using Green Star by Koshemi or Coke Chemie however you guys want to pronounce it I'm not German so I'm not going to even start to believe that I know how to pronounce the name uh, but basically an alkaline cleaner pH 12 and a half that you dilute 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 so one part of product to five parts of water or one part of product to 10 parts of water to keep th things simple when you're doing dilutions uh, I love this CarPro dilute spray bottle by the way so it looks kind of like this but on the side it has the easy dilution marks so for example you have the 1 to 5 mark right there this is the ratio that I used so you fill with water first up to the 1 to 5 dilution line and then you add your product up to the fill line here up top you shake it and you're good to go your dilution is done so again in this case I'm using uh, Koshemi Green Star diluted 1 to 5 we're going to use a uh, stiff bristle brush nylon brush that's made perfectly well uh, to clean not only tires and other stuff around the vehicle but perfect for the rubber mats and then the star of the show uh, a new product for North America but in Europe they've had this for a few years now so again from Coke Kimi or Koshemi this is Guff or gummy fix basically this is a silicone oil free uh, rubber rejuvenator and restore so perfect for rubber floor mats or all weather mats uh, and also any plastic type flooring that you might have in mobile vans and commercial vehicle applications all that kind of stuff uh, so this basically is made for the rubber mats or again those plastic floor coverings but it has a non-slippery texture at the end so it's very important I can't stress this enough uh, for your safety do not use any greasy stuff or oily stuff or silicone based stuff on your floor mats you don't want your feet to slip right uh, so this one here not only gives you that finish we're looking for but it also has that non-slip texture uh, it also has a bit of isopropyl alcohol inside so it helps flash the product pretty quickly when you're applying it's in liquid form so I put a sprayer top up here to spray it out or you can just pour it on your applicator and you're good to go uh, but it doesn't have enough of that isopropyl alcohol to dry out your material so don't worry about that don't overthink the moment it's an awesome product as you're going to see uh, you have the choice to either use a foam block like this to apply it or a microfiber towel so again pretty simple and when you're uh, cleaning and washing the mats to dry them before you apply the rejuvenator uh, I like to blow the water off you can use a microfiber towel to dry if you want uh, but in this case I'm using the Metrovac uh, Air Force Blaster Sidekick so this uh, mini blower that shoots out uh, warm filtered dry air so it's just quicker if you want something to speed up the uh, the application so uh, yeah without further ado let's jump right into the demo you're going to see how awesome this looks all right guys so we have our floor mat here the first order of business is going to be to rinse off the majority of the loose dirt and debris so you can use your garden hose or a pressure washer as you wish next we're going to take our uh, Koshemi Green Star that we diluted one to five and we're going to spray that on the surface so this is going to help to break down any dirt debris grime any oils that might be on there so be generous in the application you're going to take your uh, stiff nylon brush or whatever carpet brush that you guys might have or wheel brush whatever you guys like using all right now we're going to rinse the floor mats once again
and now we're going to dry them. So again, you can use a mini car dryer like this, a little blower or a microfiber towel as you want. All right, so to help you guys better see the difference of the before and after, I put a tape line here down the middle of the floor mat. And on the right hand side, we're going to be applying the uh, Gummy Fix or Guff from Koshemi. So this again, this is a silicone oil free product. So it's non-slip. You have the uh, choice to use a foam applicator or a microfiber towel. You can spray a little bit on there. Of course, don't forget, always shake your chemicals before you use them. So you can spray a bit on your foam applicator or a little bit on the floor mat itself. Now, the cool thing about it is that it spreads so easily and evenly. So in a matter of a few seconds, you're going to have applied this product on your floor mats. Just make sure you distribute it evenly, go into the, all the nooks and crannies it flashes very quickly. And so you can go over it with a microfiber towel at the end if you want to. I just use this foam applicator because I feel it just works super well. There's no curing time on this. So we're going to spray a little more. Again, just to make sure you're getting even coverage. Now, if you have a lot of wear and tear, so actual missing material from your boots or your shoes scraping on it, of course, there's no product that's going to restore that. So we're assuming the floor mat itself is in good condition and just needed a bit of that rejuvenating look and appearance, getting to all of these grooves there. And you can tell I'm sure already on camera because I can tell in person. This, by the way, has a non-slippery surface. So same as on this side, nothing changes. So it's just the appearance that you're making like new again. There we go. So very simple application. It's not goopy. As you can tell, it just makes everything so simple and gorgeous looking. So look at this. Can you tell on camera? Let's remove the tape so you guys can see what the before and after looks like. So let me bring you in closer. I think you can tell here. You see this line right there? So unrestored, fully restored. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious to see that line right there. Look at that. So just a nice sheen, nothing greasy, nothing oily in appearance, but just that new look that we all like. So I think it's pretty obvious now on camera now that we put the floor mat back in the vehicle. So on the left hand side here, you can see this kind of faded chalky white appearance. And right here where that tape line is, if we look on the other side, on the right hand side, you can see how beautiful and black and restored and rejuvenated. So again, if I bring you guys closer, look at that. You see that tape line right there? So on the left-hand side, you can see the chalky white appearance. So it's clean, but it has that faded look. And on the right-hand side of the floor mat, you can have that OEM restored, rejuvenated appearance. It's a 50-50 that speaks for itself. Look at that right down the line right there. So on the right is the after, on the left is the before. What do you guys think? Leave comments in the comment section under the video. Have you tried Gummy Fix from Coke Kemi? So guys, I think you could see that the before and after is pretty dramatic. So again, simple chemicals and tools and products that were used. So to clean, we used the Green Star by Koshemi. And to rejuvenate and restore the appearance, we used Guff, also known as Gummy Fix. So again, silicone oil-free anti-slip rejuvenator, and it just works well, and it's very, very easy. So a one-two punch. By the way, I remind you that I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if share this video with family and friends that might benefit from the information uh, that's given here, spread the love for car detailing out there. Also, smash the thumbs up button. That 
shows me your support and it helps the YouTube algorithm uh, help to promote my channel to other people that might not know about car detailing, right? So in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.